Hi, my name is Ian Crawford, and this is the presentation of my mobile app project. Having completed the mobile app design course with eTech training, with Ms. Merle Whitney as the uh, quite instructive presenter, this is a project that was des designed exclusively for the mobile app platform. Now, this project was simple in its conception. This is an existing business, um, Landmark Nursery. It is just a nursery and is extremely successful, but it has some sophisticated clientele and almost no online presence. So the idea was to come up with an app that would enhance his business in terms of improving the experience for his clientele. They'll be able to create orders online and email them to him. Um, there are people who are always interested in plants, so the idea was to always generate new clientele as well and to make the online shopping experience fun as well as informative in terms of the plants. Now the concept is simple and the colors are designed to match. If you were looking for a, a, a landscape app and it was green in theme, you immediately tell the mind, yes, it has something to do with plants and that is why the color scheme was chosen. So we can begin by looking at the first menu. When you click on the hamburger menu, you'll notice that the categories are ch chosen and they're not necessarily my choices but the client already had a flyer that he used and so the, the menu was kind of guided by the flyer that he has because he's a very meticulous person so if you're going for example the first category uh, plants now you will notice that the plants menus it switched from the hamburger menu to horizontal menu now, now that's deliberate it also uses some of the um, what they call the Google Glass technology where the menu allows you to see the screen behind. And that was just to remind you that it's a landscape app. So if we can look at some of the categories and we can look at some of the thinking behind how they are placed. For example, if you click on the first menu, the hibiscus menu, you go into uh, a range of hibiscus plants that he has on stock. You notice that there are various colors. On your right, you see what looks like a shopping cart with a plus sign, and that tells the user quite simply that if I press on that, it should add my choice to the shopping cart. On the left, you see a smaller image of what a red hibiscus looks like. But the idea was that if you are going to encourage people to purchase plants online and they are new, either to landmark nurseries or new to the type of plant, you didn't want them making the decision to buy or not to buy based on the smaller images. So when you click on the small images, it uses some fancy JavaScript coding to bring up an image, not of the one you click, but of a completely new image with a label telling you what this plant is, red hibiscus. And the idea was that you can get an idea of what this plant would look like in your garden and hence promote the idea behind um, buying. Now, before we go over into the shopping cart menu, which is not quite finished, we will look into a few more categories. If you click, for example, on pink hibiscus, you will notice that this is something that is not, um, some of these flowers, persons may not necessarily be familiar with them, but you get a better idea of context in your garden when you click on the large images. Now, in terms of navigation, the idea is if you close the hibiscus menu and you go backward, just one step, you're still in the plants menu. So, for example, let's say you wanted to buy some bougainvillea. You click on bougainvillea and it takes you into bougainvillea. Now, again, the menu structure is pretty simple and you get a smaller picture where you can have a look at the plant, just identify it by color and type. And when you click on it, you would get a bigger picture seeing what it would look like in your garden. For example, if you click on the red bougainvillea, you see a nice picture of a red bougainvillea in its context. So it, the idea is that it would promote you to, to uh, have a, a, a think about buying this plant if it is something that you didn't already intend to buy. Now, before we move on to the menu, we'll just look at one more category and something that is quite different, palms. If you click into the palms menu, now palms are quite popular, but many people do not know them by name in terms of the style. So you notice, for example, the Christmas palm, if you click on that, you will get a larger image of what a Christmas palm looks like. It is a solitary palm. It grows on its own. If you close that down, you go back, for example, to the lady palm. This grows in a more cluster 
So you may want, but no, I, this is something that I always wanted for my garden, but I didn't know the name was Lady Palm. So now you can see what a Lady Palm looks like in its context, and it may be something else that you want. Now, when I was designing it, I noticed that there was a need to go from the plants menu, the individual plants menu, to the shopping cart. So for example, while you are in the palms menu, if you just click on the shopping cart menu, which is the one to the right, that clear button, it takes you into the shopping cart menu. Now, this is a menu under construction, but I can still explain the concept. You will notice, for example, that the first menu position is blank. The idea behind the shopping cart is that when you click on a plant, all that does is take the plant and add it to your shopping cart. When you get into the shopping cart now, after you visually uh, examine all the plants, perhaps you may want for your garden, and you clicked on them and you now have them in the shopping cart, what comes up would be the plant category and a basic price. The idea would be that when you click, you can the plus sign on, for example, red hibiscus, it is not programmed yet, that count would go to two, three. So if you wanted four or five plants of red hibiscus, you could click the plus sign until that number between the plus and the minus sign registered five. If you only wanted one banana protein, you would leave that at one. If you wanted, let's say, three golden palms, you would click the plus sign until you have three. Now, the hope is that when it is finished programming, it will then total all the categories, all the totals of the plants that you have in your shopping cart and create an, a total which you can email to the shop. So by the time you go to Landmark Nurseries, they would already know, well, Mr. Brown is coming for, he wants four golden palm, he wants three uh, banana proteins, and he wants two hibiscus. So the only thing you have to do at the nursery is to pick out your plants. And the idea would be that it would expedite your shopping trip to the nursery. So you don't have to go and stand up in a long line and wait until they know what you want, number one, and number two, they have to select. Now, most people like to select their plants by hand, and therefore there was no attempt made to try to get the staff to select these prior to getting there. People want to handpick their plants, and so that is understood with the nursery. Now, there's just one other function, gallery. Let's go into the image gallery. And what this is just designed to do is to give us a feel. If you notice in the main menu, if you go back to the main menu, sorry, the hamburger, you will see the second to last item is called image gallery. It gives you a feel for some of the happenings around the nursery. And hence the theme, rather than being called um, slide, is called around the nursery. And it gives you a title on each image, and you can advance the image to, for example, you see a, a Bismarck display, which is a beautiful palm. These are usually sold commercially. And this is a display that you actually see when you go to the nursery. If you advance the slide, you can see some palms on display. And these are some settings in the nursery. And it gives you a feel of what is happening at the actual nursery. And so this will be updated from time to time to keep persons informed as to some of the happenings. For example, some of the soil mixing and bagging out some of the products that they sell. Now, this is not a full uh, service uh, nursery. He doesn't do landscaping, he just prepares and sells plants and other associated products. And the final image in the nursery is just the main office. When you go to the shop, you know where the main office is that you can query or pay for your plants. Again, if you go back to from the image gallery, there's a back arrow and that takes you back to the main hamburger menu. Um, when the app is completed, when you go into About Us, that will give you an idea about some history of the, it's not yet programmed, so when you click it, you'll see under development, but it is hoped that you will see uh, just some brief information about the nursery, your email and telephone contact, as well as, uh, because it's already on Google Maps, a Google Map will appear when you click for directions, uh, and it would allow you to get directions to the map by getting the location for your phone. So that is all, it's, it's there, but it's, it's coming together, and because of time, uh, I would hope that to have it ready, but not quite, but it was a tremendous experience, and I thank Ms. Whitney for this initial injection of information and education that allowed me to do research and to really build something from concept. Thank her very much for that.